last time that uh, we had, that's my word, uh, you was up here, we'll had a diamond had a diamond tester and everything. Yeah. How'd y'all link up? How's it, how's it been like going on tour with them? Like, uh, I've been knowing Filthy for a while. Before I even start rapping, I've been knowing Filthy. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we wasn't as tight as we are now, but uh, mutual friends, I've been knowing him. You know what I'm saying? We had a studio back then. He used to come to our studio and chill with us and everything. Uh, yeah. One of our, um, we had actually, one of my big homies that was from our projects, he was real tight with Filthy, and he ended up uh, passing away in 2010. So, uh, you know, Filthy actually got him tattooed on him, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the dude is from my projects, but he messed with Filthy Heavy, so. Yeah. It's just connections, it's just connections, for real. But now it's like, going on tour, like a big brother, calling him, asking for advice, you know what I'm saying? Anything I need, you know what I'm saying? Anything can help me, whatever you help me, but, you know what I'm saying? Tour is, so far, the tour been dope. Yeah. The tour been dope. So, folks, um, when we see that cats want to be an artist, cats want to rap, they want to make music, they they want they want the what they see as the idea of it. Let, what's in, what's what's a tour like? Like let us know like from a wake up to a go to sleep if there is sleep. Man, it's like a um, bunch of work, a bunch of just traveling, yeah. long car rides. I went on tour with Mozzie and uh, we drove to Cheyenne, Wyoming. I never even heard of it. You know how long that drive was like. 14 hours or something, and I'm so tall, man, and the person I went with, he can't drive. He was, <laughs> he was driving slow. He don't want to, he tell I'm drunk. I drive, he said I'm driving too fast. Right, right, right. Man, I'm about to be sitting in the car with you for no 14 hours. I'm trying to get where I'm trying to go. Yeah. But it's, it's just a bunch of hard work, but at the same time, at the off. end of the night, it pays off, yeah. and it's just the, 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 the love that you get to see from the crowd, that, that's actually the big part. The checks is nice. The checks is nice, don't be wrong, but when you actually go out there and rock out with them crowd and you see how many them hundred of people they love you, it's another feeling too. Wyoming must be crazy too, cause there's not a lot of us there. So you, Ooh, you we walked, walked in, in uh, there. Nah, like... listen, we walked in. Uh, we walked in. I think we went to a steakhouse, and um, this is around the time the movie Get Out had just started. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So we walked in there. It was all white workers, all white customers, and it was one black dude. I'm like, right. So we went and sat down. I'm like, man, I really don't want to be in here. Like, right. So my manager, he's like, man, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I said, listen, leave me the key. If you're not at that bathroom in 15 minutes, I'm up. <laughs> I swear to God, I was serious, too. Yeah. And they was just looking at us, and we, I'm like, man, if you ain't out that bathroom in 15 minutes, yeah. I'm going. to go in after him? Never. What? Up. He's on his own. I'm like, what? Man, they would have, uh. That's how you die I'm, in the movies. When you go the movies, look for trouble. Look. look. Listen. I'm not, I can't leave my nigga behind. Nah, I'm going to die. Bruh, I gave you listen. the warning. You got the warning, I so you chose I told him, don't go to the bathroom. I'm like, bro, don't go in that bathroom. He was like, why? I gotta pee. <laughs> this bush right. outside, bro. We can do. I can go get a water right. bottle. Do that I'm shit on the way on the road. Fifteen so did, minutes. Did he, did he make it back? Yeah, he made it back. All right, just make it show. You know. I think he kind of was nervous too. When he came back, he was kind of like rushing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you spooked. Man, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've, 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 I've heard about the trips. I remember I uh, went to uh, South by Southwest in 2011, yeah. and the homies drove from Oakland down there. And it's 30 hours right, straight, 30 hours. you know, Woo! and they said it's like, it was like a 10 mile or 10 hour stretch through like Arizona nothing. where there's nothing around. And you just drive it and like, it's scary because it's nothing yeah. around. Like, I could die on this road and they won't find me. You get a flat you. and you, you, you asked out. Yeah. You get a flat. We, I know, let me talk crazy. We actually, so when we got to Cheyenne, right, from, uh, when we left from here and got to Cheyenne, as soon as we got to Cheyenne, our engine light came on the rental car. Mm -mm. So I'm like, damn, so on our way, we leaving, we leaving from Cheyenne and we gotta get to Vegas, which is 12 hours, right? right. So it's 12 o'clock at night and we leaving, we finna hit the road. The engine light's still on, he's like, man, you wanna uh, trade, the, trade the rental car back? I'm like, man, nah, let's get back to Vegas, feel me? So we smash whatever, we get there. As soon as we get to Vegas, shit broke the down. car broke down on us. Ooh. I mean, that's lucky as though, as soon Vegas, as you touch down. Man, I was like, that's like, one of my boy, Biggest fear is breaking down on a road trip. For real, because I don't know. Anything can happen out there. Hills have eyes type shit. I don't fuck around. Okay? Right. Deformed weirdos. In I'm scared of raccoons. Hills. So. What? I'm scared of opossums scared and of raccoons. raccoons. Oh, nigga, what? There's raccoons all around Harvard. You wouldn't last nigga, up there. Yeah. 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 There's uh, raccoons in my neighborhood. Yeah, I go out. I, if I see one, I'm walking the other way. Yeah, see, you, you see, I, I, I used them. to come home real late. I'm a big nigga. It's like a, it's like a mouse and an elephant. I'm cool. <laughs> 
Your mouse. Elephants do be scared as fuck of mice. They scared yeah, they as are. fuck of mice. Yeah. But nah, but but you this was in the squirrel in the the raccoons and the rock, them motherfuckers is motherfuckers good. Don't, ain't no I, I slept in my car for two hours I'm waiting for them to leave because I'm not gonna play. Ain't no punks. I'm they're, telling they're, they're you, they're good at you. No. Yeah, my partner trying to throw a uh, throw a pine cone at one and walk in the house. That motherfucker walked to his yard. That's <laughs> what I ain't gonna do. The nigga will follow you. The nigga will follow you away. My partner, exact, exact. The nigga got thumbs. So why would I fuck with him? The nigga yeah, got grit. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck yeah. that shit. I'm not fucking with that. My partner, his screen door just got fucking chewed off by a raccoon. The niggas eat metal, cuz. The only crazy. way they you're gonna metal. survive a fight with an animal is if you're Run. willing to use your full nigga, body. You gotta shoot that nigga. No. No, if you, if you use your him. full body, because the thing that about rodents that's scary is that they the niggas throw is their whole body at you. You niggas don't even know that's what marsupials is. That's what them niggas is. A little kangaroo shit. <laughs> Shit's a marsupial. I'm not fucking with them. I'm not <laughs> fucking with them niggas. They're marsupials. Hey, how long would it take you to drink that whole water? Uh, shit. It take me about. Should take a day, but sometimes it takes a day and a half. You could just drink it straight right then and there. I the could, but I'm gonna fucking take a piss. Let me see you do it. No, I'm not doing this challenge shit. We, I'm let's continue this interview. I'm, see I'm not drinking. I, I spill you. water. You I got my cup. I have my Thizzler branded cup. 